Welcome back guys, we're back again with a tutorial. Today we're going to be going through how you can install Forge 1.18.2 to your Minecraft. Now we're going to be going through two ways here. First is going to be the manual way of adding Forge. The second way is going to be the way that I suggest if your Forge isn't loading, perhaps the libraries aren't loading, you're clicking on the Java file and it's just not opening anything. So I'm just going to go through the easy way of doing that as well. So let's get started first with the uh, downloading of the Minecraft Forge. Let's do it manually. Um, I'm going to leave the link in the description. Obviously head on over to Forge and we're going to go to Forge 1.18 as you can see there it's on the top of the list and we're going to go to the installer again I'll leave the link for this exact page um, in the description now when it takes you here just wait a second on the top right you're going to see that it's doing a little countdown from five once it's hit zero you can simply go ahead to skip that will then download the forge file um, now this really does take only a matter of minutes depending on if your uh, your Java's updated you've got the forge libraries and stuff like that all coming up when you do double click it unfortunately some people do experience a problem with this so once you downloaded come back from this page we don't want to leave that page up it's full of ads it is no good and we're going to go straight to our downloads as you can see here we now have our download right there now what we're going to do is we're simply going to double click it once we double click it it's going to give us an option here that's going to be the forge installer this is now where we're going to install it client side now this is where you might come up with a problem it might not come up with this option first thing to try is actually install the latest java once you install the latest java again if that does not work you cannot open it i'll leave a link for the jar fix option however I do have a much better and easier way that we'll go through very shortly. So first of all, if this has worked, you've got this little message pop up. We want to go to install client. We're going to click OK. Um, and it's just going to take a few minutes now just to install everything that we need to onto our Microsoft launcher. Once you've got your little message, then Forge has been successfully installed. We can simply click OK. That'll close that down. And then we can open up our Minecraft. Once you've opened that up, come down to your left hand side. And then we're going to look for the Forge 1.18.2. As you can see, I have mine there, Forge.18.2. So that has been installed successfully. Now, if you can't find it in your little list over here, then we're going to come to installations. And we're basically going to install it. First of all, make sure that you have modded uh, checked on the top right here. Then go to add new installation. Name your installation, come down to the version, and it's usually gonna be around the top part because it's the newest version. Obviously, if you're doing an older version, it's gonna be further below, but as you can see there, we have release 1.18.2.forge. So click that, create your installation, and we can go ahead and play. Now to go and play, simply leave this um, on the forge. We're then gonna hit play and it will load us into Minecraft. That's all done and dusted. Just a quick one so you know how to upload mods as well. We're gonna come in the little search bar on the bottom left. We're gonna type in percentage app data percentage press enter and it's going to take us to this folder right here we're going to double click on minecraft and then we're going to come down to mods um, as you can see i have a mod in here from previous version however you can now upload your mods here just making sure that they're the correct version so 1.18.2 that's all well and good that's all working now you can now log on to your forge um, 1.18.2 you can add your mods you can play on your single player so now what happens if that didn't work you try to open it up um, obviously it didn't give you the same options and you weren't able to open up forge 1.12.2 and get it installed now the best thing that I'm going to suggest is actually downloading the curse forge launcher now I'll leave the link again it's download.curseforge.com we're simply going to come on here you're going to download for the specified version i'm not going to click this because i already have the launcher installed once you've got this installed you're going to get a little tab um, for your little forge tab right here and it's basically going to do everything for you like loading in the libraries and stuff like that especially if you're having a problem opening the jar now obviously once you do install forge you log in stuff like that you're going to select uh, minecraft over here you're then going to come to create custom profile name the profile and simply select the version so here we want to go 1.18.2 um, of course, this is going to be for Forge. We're going to keep Forge ticked over here. And then you simply hit Create. Once you hit Create, that will do everything for you. Everything that we've just done manually, it will do onto here. And then you can simply go on and um, install your mods onto this installation. It will work exactly the same way once we have it installed. Uh, as you can see now, it's installing everything that we've just done manually. Um, you can then simply click it. You can then go to Add More Mods. Uh, for an example, if I click onto here, you're going to get this little button here, Add More Content. That is now how you can add mods. So you don't have to go to the Percentage app data percentage you can simply uh, get your profile go to add more content you can add the mods that way once it's all done you can click on it and you can simply press play easy as that all sorted as you can see that's all done now we've got 1.18.2 we can click on here and we can go to add more content um, like this we can simply add in um, any mods that we have and it will also give you the mods for this particular version so that's super easy way of doing that we can simply click install once we've installed it we can go back over here to our installations and click play and you're all done so thanks for watching guys, I hope that's helped. Don't forget to hit that like button and of course subscribe if you haven't already. We've actually surpassed the 700 subscribers mark and we're now aiming for 800. Potentially 1000 would be great. So let's keep pushing that. Thanks for your support and we'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.